and welcome back to another ex episode of Silent Hill Shattered Memories with me, Henry, with Harry. And we just got to this point. Harry just got lucky. And now she's that old lady again. So I'm guessing that's Harry's wife. Harry, stop! No. It's too late now. You don't know what you're doing! Am I supposed to go back? I guess not. What's going on? That's not Cheryl. Cheryl Seven. And she likes bugs. Oh crap! Run, run! He run! He's gonna grip you! No! Oh, you got to be kidding me. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Go, go. Run. Oh, get up me. Really? How am I supposed to make this? Oh, God. No. Get off me. Uh, Kim Kardashian clones. No! Get off me! Help me! Uh, what? I don't get it. It's not letting me knock him off. What's going on? The monsters turned into ice crystals. Oh crap! <gasps> really? Did I die or something? Am I in dead in the water? Is that what this is? Am I supposed to be dead? I don't know. Who is that? That looks like the girl and me. I don't know. Keep going. I'm Michael Phelps without the jack-o'-lantern teeth. There's them on the bed. I'm in the polar bear club. I do it for the chicks. God. This video is dedicated to Jennifer Carpenter as she is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my entire life. If you ever hear this message, or ever see this video, you should say hi, and say thank you.
You're not stopping me. I'm not here to stop you. I didn't have to fish you out of the water, did I? Stop talking! You can't talk me out of this! I'm not here to stop you! I pulled your file at the station. I told you that, right? If you're telling the truth, this doesn't make sense. But I think you are telling the truth. I believe you think you're Harry Mason. Hell, I believe you are Harry Mason. But Harry Mason was killed in a car crash 18 years ago. You want answers? I guess they're waiting in there. That's the lighthouse? Nothing's quite what you expect, is it? <sighs> I'm gonna stick with my gut from now on. <laughs> Would've saved us both a lot of trouble. Hope this works out for you. I'm dead? Apparently I'm dead. Okay. I don't really get this game, but whatever. I'm dead. Harry, no! Alright. So now we know that apparently Harry's dead. M. Kipe Kaufman, counseling and family therapy. No, this can't be. What's this? Adam! All right, guys. All right, Jennifer. Let's see what's behind this door. Are you ready? The truth. This is going nowhere. I'm spelling it out, but you're not listening. Your troubled school days? How you're conflicted about marriage? Your denial of death? The unfounded guilt? Abnormal sexuality? 18 years of denial, a whole universe of fantasy in that thick skull of yours. A skull teeming with agents of repression. <clears throat> Blind children clutching photos in the dark. Pale freaks goggle-eyed from watching home movies on loop. The term is complicated grief. But it's simple, isn't it? A young girl. Her parents don't get along. She blames herself, as all children do. Then daddy dies. What's a girl to do? Deny that daddy died. Deny who daddy was. What seven-year-old actually knows who their parents are anyway? So she obsesses and obsesses over this fantasy dad propping up her make-believe with scraps, scraps of a happy life that never was, scraps of a father who never existed, Wake up! Your dad wasn't a hero. Wasn't your knight in shining armor. He was a human being. You never knew him. And you never will. The dad walking around in your head isn't even a ghost. He never existed. A Frankenstein's monster, a child's fantasy. But you're alive. Your mother is alive. She's not the monster you make her out to be. You need to live your life. Cheryl. Why did you have to die? It wasn't my fault. Someone has to take the blame. 
forget me. God, what a depressing game. Makes you feel like a real piece of crap. What the hell are you filming me for? Am I supposed to dance for you? <laughs> Be a good girl for daddy. Go get him another drink, will you? Now, give me a damn beer! I wonder I drink with a family like this. In your mind's eye. Well, that's the game, guys. I hope everyone enjoyed this Let's Play. Um, my thoughts. Uh... Very interesting game, man. Um, it's kind of... Kind of... I mean... Was it scary? No. But it definitely had you on the edge of your seat. And it, it irritated the crap at you. Because this game kept on calling me a drunk. <laughs> you know, it would be like... I don't even know how it knew that I liked to drink a little bit. But... I don't know. Apparently this game probably thinks I'm crazy. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a logical person. I'm basically a crazy person. But yeah, um, I hope everyone enjoyed this Let's Play. Um, like I said, you know, many times before, please comment, like, and subscribe. Jennifer, if you're there, Miss Carpenter, please send me a message and I will get back with you as soon as possible. But anyone else, please, hopefully y'all just, um, I don't know, I'm going to go ahead and let this go and I'll be quiet for the rest of this. Alright, have a great day everyone. Thanks for watching.